It's never been harder to become a machine learning engineer, but still the salary is incredible at around 160,000 per year. You can often work from home and the work itself is interesting and the field itself is also growing. But machine learning is becoming more popular and there are a lot more people to compete with nowadays and things that could get you a job before will not work in the future. It's just not enough. If you don't fix this and you have an updated strategy, the honest truth is that your chance of success is about 1%. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to become a machine learning engineer, starting from zero today, even with no prior experience or education. And there are five levels to this, starting with level number one, which is building a solid foundation. You'll need to have certain math skills to dig into machine learning as it's actually built on these concepts, but this should only be the first part and shouldn't take too much of your time. Now, I recommend the mathematics for machine learning specialization, and all you need to get started is basic high school math and after three concise courses, you'll be much better prepared for the next steps. As a slightly shorter option, you can also take this course by Imperial College London. Now, the main thing to get hired is to fulfill the criteria, and you'll need to be qualified, and you have to be credible as an ML engineer. Qualified simply means that you have the right skills, and credible means that you can show it to employers when they're looking for it. If you miss one of these parts, it's not going to work, but it's easier to achieve than most people think. So how can you become a qualified machine learning engineer? Well, if you know the fundamental skills and you can do some real world machine learning tasks successfully without being an expert, then you're qualified for your first job in machine learning. We've used a site called DataNerd that scanned thousands of real job listings to find out what companies actually look for so that we can learn the right skills. This will save you time and ensure that you can put the most useful things on your resume. So step two is to learn Python. And Python is the most in-demand skill for ML. It's actually in over 70% of the job listings. So for complete beginners, I recommend Python for everybody's specialization. A more specific course that's technically better is the Applied Data Science with Python specialization. And this program will give you hands-on skills working with Python specifically for ML and data science. Python is a very versatile language and you really only need to focus on machine learning, so move it to a specialized course as fast as possible. The next step is to take a certificate and you've now built a solid foundation and it's time to dig deeper into machine learning. And the best course out there is the Machine Learning Specialization. It's provided by Stanford, one of the top universities together with Deep Learning AI, a leading ML and AI education provider. And it's insane. The course has half a million students and a near perfect 4.9 rating. You learn the most in-demand skills, TensorFlow and other top skills like Scikit-Learn and NumPy. And while you're not going to become an expert because it's so short, you'll be introduced to many different areas. And again, you don't need to be an expert in the beginning. Another option is the IBM Introduction to Machine Learning or just free YouTube tutorials combined with some hands-on practice. That works great too. So now step four. For machine learning, there are certain tools and libraries that are more important than others. And if you have these ones on your resume, you'll be much more likely to get a job. And chances are that at least a few of them are going to be required. The two most in-demand ones are TensorFlow and PyTorch. And I recommend spending some time on one of them or both. The course introduction to TensorFlow will help you dig into it in roughly 20 hours or so. And IBM's Deep Learning with PyTorch will help you do so in roughly 19. So pretty much the same. Step five, now you have the basic skills down, but we're not done yet. You'll need to start applying your knowledge both for yourself and for your learning, but also to show to employers. And I recommend starting with guided projects, either free on YouTube or on Coursera. And you can try these ones. They're like three projects that only take you a couple of hours and you'll be guided step by step learning the entire process. And eventually you can start doing them yourself. So now you've got the basic skills down and you can start applying to jobs once you've set up a portfolio with your projects just showing pretty clearly and made a good resume. But I recommend that you go back, do projects, add more skills, and if you, for instance, add big data to your skill set, you will instantly have more jobs available to you. So check the top skills for machine learning engineers and simply start stacking them over time. This will make your resume an absolute powerhouse and eventually you'll get a job. And remember that you only need one job offer to succeed. I'm going to leave a free roadmap with all the courses in the description and I made another video covering the other steps to become a machine learning engineer, like building a portfolio, which you can check out somewhere on the screen right here. Thanks for watching, guys.